I don't have anyone to play, right? Oh, shit! The boys came through with the raid, did they? The boys. The boys. What's up, 506 folks? viewers? Oh yeah, yeah. God. All it was like 1k because of Moki, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, everyone? Welcome to South Australia. Um, so, yeah, we got the, the biggest match <laughs> until Grand Finals right now. We got McLeod versus Oscat. Yep. Um, the second and third seed of the tournament, and uh, they've had a great rivalry over the years. Uh, Muscat recently, and in the past, I guess, having the edge. Mm. Cloud, though, is a terrifying player, always on the grind, always hungry. Oh, to yeah. Take you down. Well, I think the big thing here right now is like, Cloud's kind of been, um, I don't know, he's been having mixed success with his uh, current Smashbox bindings. Uh, I know for a fact that, yeah, he's just not been hitting the, the pedge dashes as much as he'd like to be. No, that should be 100%. It should be. I mean... Well, <laughs> if he's cheating, he, you know, like, it should be, like... He should get it every time, right? That's just how it works, eh? Yeah, just hit the macro. <laughs> yeah, man, that's just... Yeah, we have, like, buttons that just input a series of inputs because... No, that's not real. That's true, Chibi. I think it, my theory is that Mc, the integrity of the game died when McLeod won Edge Dash. Dude, uh, the integrity of the game died a long ass time ago. Some, at some point after the initial UCF release, which was the highlight for me of like controller, like that was the high point. UCF, yes, yeah, no UCF. notches. Let me dash back and shield drop. Anything else? Fuck that. Yeah. But uh, the Goom Wave is really. Stomping on the decaying corpse <laughs> with the integrity of the game as well. So. Now the fobs. Now yeah, the fobs. Yeah, yeah, it's I, fucked. It's all fucked. Dude, honest to god, fobs are broken. Um, but it's it's one of these things right now, right? Where it's like, oh, let's go. Let's go, McLeod. Let's fucking go. No. Um, it's yet. rarely misses drill chains. No, he's really good at him, actually. So, lucky from McLeod to get that down smash. Yeah, probably won't see many games. Yeah, so what I was going to say is, like, um, like the big thing right now is that, like, we basically have to allow everything. It's fucked. Like, we basically have to allow everything because nobody can stop people from modding their normal GameCube controllers in a way that actually, like, gives them, like, fucked up advantages. I mean, that's a dumb argument because then by that logic you should be able to, like, have macros for like no 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 no, no, no can stop you know like okay well th like that's not the that's not the whole reason right but what I'm saying is like in terms of just inputting right like it's not like macros are obviously like you know that shit's banned that's like actually taking away from you know playing the game but it's we're in this tricky situation where like like none of the modders are gonna give up their business yeah the problem is the only people with a platform about this shit are the people who financially profit from it also. yeah yeah precisely and like they. They both, like, presumably, and I've talked to some of them, like, disagree with the other, like, camp, you know, controllers, right? Like, the Goom Wave doesn't necessarily like the box and vice versa, but it's this, like, tenuous piece where they both know that they're both fucked if they start a conflict. Yeah, yeah. It's just... I wish, um, people would, like, you know, not talk about this shit without, like, knowing what they're talking about. Because right now, like, there's so much subjective, like, arguments that, like, I'm sick of. Well, that's the problem, though. The only people who know what they're talking about are the fucking modders. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> like, they shouldn't be, like, they should not have a monopoly on what gets talked about. Yeah. But it does rub me the wrong way when people will say, like, oh, you know, like, these people are getting mad results and they're using digital controllers. Like, we should ask some questions there. It's really funny that we spent the first game talking about controllers. This, yeah. is, the, this is the price you actually pay for playing box. Yeah, yeah, you just get orange <laughs> <from> commentary. <laughs> Oh, back to the match. I, I, yeah. Oh, let's fucking go with that! <laughs> Got him with the call out there. Godly. Godly call out there. The cloud's looking hot. Uh, didn't look so hot at Bam, I will say, so... Ah, uh, yeah. Good to see McLeod bouncing back. Probably has some new plans, new things he wants to try against uh, Muscat. Look, I don't know. I think um, half of top six and top four being SA is a kind of a win in its own way at Bam. Yeah. Personally. I think that's, like, kind of sick, because, you know, I don't know, like, we've been part of SA for, like, ages now, like, the scene here, and it's kind of nice to see some, like, top-end gamers nowadays. I mean, we've been recognized as, like, a very strong region for a pretty long time. Yeah, yeah now we have. Oh, and clean wave shine conversion. Doesn't quite get the SDI away from the drill there. There we go, now we can see. That's better for my shrimp posture. <laughs> 
and also not getting the SCIs on many of the up airs. Uh, I'm not sure whether you need two inputs with Peach. Uh, a lot of characters you do need two inputs, but with the box, you can get two inputs. <laughs> yeah, just pling, hit him with the blink. Blink it, yeah. Anyway, we just need to update UCF to be much more inclusive of everything. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I agree. Just, just make UCF do all the work. I know. Oh, here we go. The musket special. Let's go. And I feel like you need to be hitting SDI away on those. Just mm. to make it difficult. Because the mm. thing is, he could have got to the ledge in like four shines. And especially if you do an SDI like two inputs away and then two inputs in, it makes it really tough for them because they'll often overrun uh, Peach. Yeah. And then you can mix up going behind as well. For all the all the melee kids at home, you can go into SDI practice in uh, on the bunch. Uh, wave shine SDI and pick Peach and try to get two inputs. It's doable on Conch, so uh, no reason why you should be doing it. Oh, uh, scary. Goes for the Nair, really wise. I thought it was going to go for a down air, but the Nair just ends the stock and not the best guy for Muscat. And that's so scary, drilling Peach's shield, because you know they're just going to jump and do some float option and like... Yeah, so McLeod's got like the sub floats on lock. Um, and has for a while now. Oh, yeah. just up airs. Crazy. Peach really wants to be hit with a shine when she's uh, floating in the air. Mm. Musket also kind of reaching too far into the cookie jar there by just constantly jabbing Peach. Yeah, you gotta know they're gonna hold down, especially after the first jab. Yeah, you don't get greedy with this. Oh, oh, that's big. I mean, that's a trade. Dragon Ball Z. Except they both died. I mean, rip, but. Yeah. And McLeod with the grimy angel platform hold. <laughs> I hate that shit. I feel like when both people die at the same time, there should be mutual agreement that you both just get the fuck off the platform. Because <laughs> otherwise, they're like, otherwise you both just wait there. Should we mo- Oh, no jump. Uh, he's got it back. And McLeod has absolutely clutched up oh! on Muscat. Now that's it. Ooh, GG. Well played. Nice. Oh, I can update it, yeah. What, what you got for me? 2-1? 3-1. 3-1, that's right. Nice. 4 5 Catherine, 3-1 over Caleb in the bracket. For those of you following along at home. Are we going to get a Tish set on stream? The answer is... maybe. Tish, a legend. I love I Tish love is... Tish. Uh, I always confuse Tish with TYSM, which is unfair <laughs> to Tish. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> See, Tish is a really nice person. Showed me what to do with my snapback capacitor module. He did good. He's a clutch player. He's got that punish game on log. And with Ooh. the punish game, you can do anything. Ooh. I'm assuming that was an attempted nair. Yeah, musket just a little sloppy. Just getting some awkward controller turnarounds. Oh, no jump, no jump on Peach. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, if there's one player in, a, in South Australia you can't afford to get sloppy against, it's probably the Cloud. Oh, nice. Sick shine. What a beast. Lemons is not Lemon Pod, no. Lemon. No, no. Lemons is the original. Yeah. Oh! Nah, too far below the stage. Musket. He's got a bit of work to do here after losing that star. What do you think of Stadium, by the way? Instead of uh, Yosh. I like Stadium. I think Stadium's the best stage. Yep. Oh no, the soft net gets uh, basically made McLeod Ooh, land. the jump, and that should be it. Because of the down end on the net, didn't get out there fast enough. A bit conservative with some of his positioning there. Went a bit too far into the stage, and then wasn't ready. I can't believe McLeod just called him out like that on the platform tech chairs. McLeod's covering everything with these turnips. All right, good pressure. Uh -oh. Can he clean it up? Yeah, he wants to get Ooh, burned there. How exactly. the fuck did that happen? Getting burned there is good. It's scary to go for the invincible fire soul. Especially with the shine, you add so many inputs. It's complicated so much. Oh, and what a call out. That was actually clutch as hell by Muscat yeah. because, like, I don't know, it really seemed like McLeod was poised to take that stock. But now we have a... Uh, a situation that's pretty favorable for Musket to like run away with this and just, you know, get a bit of like extra damage for his troubles. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say Musket needs to play really annoying here, but he just charges him with an up smash and yeah. the cloud is never gonna move forward without a hitbox. 90% of the time if he's moving towards you, he's got that narrow and you can't afford to trade with it. Mm. 
Oh. I love what McLeod's doing as well. Uh, in neutral, he'll do... It's kind of like a slapdash um, bear, and then like immediately dash attack. It's so obnoxious. Oh, Ooh, and another great call. Catches the float away. Yeah, Sundown's his path, guys. We know, we know, we know Sunny. Musket doing he's a great job, by the way, of recognizing when he's overshot wave shines. Oh, here we go. That's for the down smash. He's sour spot, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, does the same thing, though. Gets Peach off stage and uh, he's kind That's of it. trap in here. Let's go. He's a greedy down smash from McLeod, but he's got the counter tick now. So we are, we'll probably see either FD or Fountain, depending on how comfortable McLeod is with winning the neutral and getting a grab. Is my camera not level? Flood the stars. Hashtag flood the stars. Trending on Twitter right now. <laughs> Let's go. All right, FD. Ah, <laughs> uh, musket already off to a monster start. Yeah, and that's Fox's equivalent to the chain grab on this stage. Yeah, this stage double-edged sword for Peach in this matchup. Um, and musket also like no slouch and can get the. Uh, the turnaround infinite with the shines as well, but you know, McLeod's got to be pretty ready to SDI at this point, surely. Nice. Yeah, it's got opportunity. Wait, Reacts to the oh, it doesn't get the trade. I don't know about trading stocks like that. Well, he tried to trade with the Firefox. Yeah, of, of course, but like that's that's livable. I think that's a pretty good edge guard for He just missed it. If you if you catch the startup of their movement, then you'll pretty much always get the trade. That's right. So you just kind of did it a bit too early. Yeah. Like he spaced it too well in quotation marks. So like he hit with the strong hit boxes there. Like yep. the nice. edge of it. Two. Ooh. He's out of it twice. Up smashing coming though. And the McLeod SDI is very good. <laughs> I wonder why that is. I I got called out once for saying his SDI was good when his like SDI was not good throughout the set, and he was like, "That's the one I hit, bro." <laughs> but uh, hitting two in a row there, so no, that was nice. obviously it's improved. All right, we're going to see dash attack soon. Or the Nair. There's a dash attack. Oh, oh great, great guy. Life. What the hell? All right, we got a, we got a reset situation He's gonna here. He's to try to trade with a down air, but... Oh, very low there. Yeah. Too low. I don't know about that. Chief. <laughs> and McLeod could have just grabbed ledge there, too. When you go that low as Fox, it's like you kind of... Uh, writing your own death sentence. So it's one thing that Peaches hate though, it's grabbing the ledge. Yeah, yeah, we all know it. Oh! oh well, I guess the people know. I... Yeah. Ooh, it's not gonna kill! He's floating. And that's not gonna kill either. Oh, I was expecting another parasol, but uh, McLeod makes it back to stage. Oh, great catch with the drill, catches the roll in. Damn, this is still... Pretty doable for Musket yeah. though. Oh, runs in with a oh. kind of ill-advised drill, but he's just kind of forcing it and makes it work. Musket's going crazy. Yeah, he's just doing a lot of moves right now, and that's no kill. way. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm no pretty way. sure it's killing. <laughs> yeah, McLeod held in for that too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the last time was a down smash, and he was like, "Well, I'm not a kill percent. He's gonna down smash me again." Yeah. So that's the uh, that down smash working across multiple uh, stops. Sick recovery, by the way. Musket is so good versus Peach. Ooh, that, should, that could have been an up tilt just for a risky drill. Not the best reaction there. Well, there it is. Oh, Musket yeah. cooking. He's looking real strong. He's and probably going to take it this time. to shark for Peach. It's so hard to shark Peach. Misses the SDI. It's still hard to get it. You can kind of mash it with blocks, but you. There it is. If Musket times it at an unusual timing, the uh, McLeod's not. The thing about SDI on up air is, up, uh, I feel like when you do a directional DI on the up throw, it gives you way less windows to hit the up air, so it's more predictable what time you're going to go for. If yes. you go straight up, then it's like, when am I going to hit you? It's, it's up to, you know, Musket's discretion, you know? And we've got a game five. This is huge. Oh, again, Musket with a monster start! And he's trying to go 20xx on it right now with that uh, reverse wave shine attempt. Musket's playing just annoying, yes. really. Like, he kind of lights out. Oh, don't need to get hit by that, but uh. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that kills? That's gross. That is yucky. <laughs> he didn't even DI hard in. What was that, dog? That's fucked up. <laughs> Baron's are in the chat, the owner of Flood Esports is going crazy. Musket is going 
nuts right now. He's kind of got a habit on when, uh, sorry, a read on when McLeod's going to shield, when he's grabbable. Another up smash is uh, surely coming out soon. And he's just playing so well outside McLeod's ranges. He's not going to hit by any dash attacks. No bullshit, you know? Well, he's I mean, just out of there. Oh, and that's so unfortunate. This oh, is the uh, up B sweet spot. Two of a stocks crumble. up. Two stocks up on FD. <laughs> This is cute, kind of huge. This is the kind of stage you can always bring it back, though. It's just Fox can be so annoying to kill at high percent. Like if you still have to get a grab on Fox, oh, okay, gets a nice. knockdown. Good tech chase. Oh, extra pummel there. I think we're gonna see him there. Uh, oh, I thought he was gonna drill him, but goes to the ledge instead. Whoo! Dude, on Musket holding down even at 138, but uh, lands with a pretty sloppy back air and. Uh, Oh, stock for McLeod. He's still in this. I still see McLeod taking a stock here, but he has to change the way he's playing to do that. I don't know, does he? He just needs a grab. Well, oh, not getting a chain grab, but he's getting a big hit. Yeah, that's it. Bad DI on the air. Yeah, he died all the way in with the uh, on the down air, presumably trying to get behind and hit the reverse hit of the air, which is pretty next level if it worked. A lot of Musket's momentum has kind of disappeared. Oh! That's scary. Careful. Momentum stuck within that. Oh, amazing whiff punish on the forward air. There's no lag on that move, Kai. So I've heard. <laughs> so I've heard. Oh, watch out. Oh, this is scary. And that's an awkward position to down air from. you got to take the ledge there. There you go. Nice. Get Even some game. And we got lost stock. One grab for uh, the Cloud could do it. It's fucking game five, bro. And this is so scary. He's so close to the boss zone. Oh. Okay, really ill-advised there, and he's kind of floundering right now. Is that gonna do it? Great, Holy yeah, he DI's down and in. Holy Gets all the way shit. out of there. That was fucked. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, and that's gonna do it. God. Misses the DI, and well played by Muscat. Oh my god. That was fucked up. That was actually a fucked up set. And Muscat with a reverse 3-0. That's gotta hurt for McLeod. That was hype. That was actually hype. Doing, breaking the, uh, the sponsor curse. So far. Mm. Um, do we have a result for Coffee Rex and Lemons?